you asked me what the problem is with, with all this. So you see homelessness. You see all these homeless people on the street in LA or in San Francisco or Seattle or Portland or Vancouver or you see it in a lot of cities. It's really bad in LA and San Francisco and the, the West Coast for some reason has a ton of it. So, oh, you just, like what LA is doing, you put them up in housing. Problem solved, right? And we're done. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, because you peel back the layer the first, the top layer of that, the homeless, underneath the homelessness is uh, drug addiction. Pretty much 100% across the board. None of, these hom- none of these people are down and out and just like, oh my God, I'm homeless. That doesn't happen. They're, they're all drug addicts. And even when they tell you they're clean, they're, they're still lying. So you peel back the drug addiction layer and what are you going to do? You get them, put them all in rehab, which is going to be tremendously expensive and it's not going to work all the time. But that would be part of the solution, but it's not going to be the solution. So you peel back the layer of drug addiction, you've got mental health. They, they all have mental health issues. And you can't just magically fix their mental health. You know, the, the damage was done when they were little kids, when they were five, six, seven, eight years old, mm. with, with whether it's neglect or abuse, you know, physical yeah. abuse, sexual abuse, whatever. Just, just terrible parenting, yeah. terrible role models. Terrible, yeah. And they don't learn this, you know, like, let's say you fixed, let's say you got them off the streets, let's say you um, fixed the drug addiction, you get them therapy for years and you fix the mental health issues somewhat, but they still don't know how to do all the things that we all know how to do, like build trust in others, gain the trust of others, how to handle money, d- d- uh, delayed, gratification, uh, delayed gratification. They, don't, they have no concept of that. Everything is just like, how do I make a quick buck right now? Yeah. That's the only thing they know. If, you know, if they have a job interview on Monday, like if I, if I had something like that or a meeting to go to, I, w- I would I know how to show up and I'm going to kick ass on Monday. These people don't know how to do anything like that. They, might not, they probably won't even show up. They don't know how to be on time. They don't know how to do anything in order to like advance their, their lives. They, I think it's, it, it boils down to their self-worth is so broken that they don't believe they deserve anything better. Yeah. So it's like if you don't believe you deserve anything better, you, you could be handed a million dollars. Here's a winning lottery ticket. Go cash it in. You've got a million dollars. They're going to fuck it up as fast as you can see it, you know, as fast as you can imagine. Have you had any drug addicts? 